Bill Cunningham has this great quote about, you know, fashion being the armor to survive everyday life. To me, it means a lot to think that I could give a person something that they can just know that they can reach for in the morning and have that sense of, I feel like my best self because I'm comfortable and I feel good. So using plant dyes was part of Miranda Bennett Studio from the beginning. The farm where we're growing our dyes now is called New Leaf Agriculture. They are a team made up of refugees, refugee managed. We work with them on cultivating a dye plant, Mexican Mint Marigold, which is our founding plant, and it creates the most beautiful, rich, like ochre yellows to greens. So the first pieces that we're gonna be releasing are Silk Charmeuse um, apparel items in the collection. So we're starting with our North Star style, the everyday dress. The process of how we dye in-house involves a few really incredible, hardworking, talented women that we have on our team. Mexican Mint Marigold can actually be dyed with the entire plant. It's a, like a complete necessity, you know, um, especially when you look at the global pollution that's happening worldwide in our waterways from conventional dyes. In terms of the steps that lead into it, we first scour fabrics just a process of really cleansing a fabric to remove any oil or other residues. So the next step is dyeing the panel of fabric. We're typically either continuously stirring it for the entirety of the time that the fabric is in the vat or at 10 minute intervals. After it comes out of the vat, we will um, rinse it often by hand, and then it gets hung up to air dry in our studio. So after the panel of fabric is dyed, it will be quality inspected by the dye team, rolled onto a fabric roll. At that point, it gets brought over to our production team. So um, once they have it rolled out, we'll cut it. We'll then write by hand each label that will go on each actual finished garment. So it's like a nice little, um, little reminder of the people that are behind making the garment. So when I started Miranda Bennett Studio, I was doing everything. So in the process of researching what options were available, I quickly discovered Open Arms, um, which is a social enterprise of the Multicultural Refugee Coalition. Essentially, they do apprenticeships, they do job training, and they work with folks that are coming here from other parts of the world that already have a background in manufacturing and have that skill set. The MRC in general is really committed to creating living wage livelihood opportunities for Austin's refugee population. When there was the chance to open a, a storefront in this space and in this beautiful building, I couldn't pass it up. It's a really challenging project, not gonna lie. It's, we're, we're an independently owned company and we're trying to base our decisions on what we feel is right versus what we feel is profitable. Mm -hmm.